So when you're getting ready to tape up the car, it's important to note where the black plastic is, where the chrome is, anywhere that you don't want to get polish on. So here, this emblem, this black plastic right here. And then when you get to areas like this, so here you can see the wax in this area. We'll have to remove that. But to avoid doing the same when you're polishing, I like to put some tape and have it over this portion, even though it's paint, and polish around it. And then when we're done, take those tape off and then put the tape on this portion and polish in here. Both ways will allow you to avoid putting polish residue and polish dust in this little crack. Remember, you want to tape off all of your black plastic down here, down here, everywhere. When getting to the windshield, I like to tape it up on the edges first, then I like to take some a couple of really cheap garbage bags and then tape those on top and make a seal with those garbage bags. I do the same for the windows. And don't worry, I'm not doing it yet, but when I'm done, I will show you the finished product. With the moonroof or sunroof, what I like to do is for the front half, I will bring this, I will turn the car on, bring this back, tape up the front half of it or the front all the way up to here, bring it back down, then finish taping it up. Remember, this is this black plastic right here. You don't want to get any polish residue in there because it can stain and or make it very difficult to remove. Remember, when you're polishing, you have to be very careful to tape off everywhere that you can find that is plastic. So when you look at this, it looks like paint. However, and this is going to be a little weird because I'm going to move the camera, but look at this. Do you see that this is textured plastic? Plastic, you can actually even hear it. It's very important to be very mindful of everywhere on the car, under the car, around the car to ensure that you don't get polish residue in places that you cannot remove it from or it would be very difficult to remove from. I also like to tape up here and around this area anywhere that this plastic to make sure, you see there's plastic down here, anywhere that there's plastic to make sure that there is absolutely no residue that gets onto plastic. When taping off a car, I like to use a very specific type of tape. It's these three types. This is the 3M automotive masking tape, and it's low residue, I believe. And you can see that there are three different widths. This makes it ideal for getting into tight spots or different width areas that you will have to around the car. All right, so now that I've talked about how to put the paint on, where to put it on, I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly try to get it done before the light goes, the sun goes down. You can see the sun's going down. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it done and show you the finished product. This is the finished product and you guys are probably thinking, what is this crack job that he is showing us? Well, just remember a couple of things. I did this in the night, so it was pretty dark. I'm doing it outdoors. Uh, and then not only that, but I was trying to really hurry up because I wanted to uh, get it on camera, which I didn't manage to be able to get it on. So this is the next morning. But in my defense, I did manage to uh, have this withstand a rainstorm, which is why you can see it's wet. It's dried up a little bit because I, I dried it up, but uh, up there I didn't really mind it so much. So yeah, you can see I put tape everywhere on the pebble, uh, the black pebble trim. Here, I put tape so it wouldn't go, you know those little line, oh, you know those lines that come in the handle? Uh, well, polish can get in that. Like when you open your door handle, the that portion which opens, that's where the line is. Polish can get in there and it's really, really annoying. So I put these on just to avoid polish getting into these cracks and into that line when I hand polish right here. Now over here you'll see that some of the handlebars take, is, is covered with tape so I'm going to remove the tape at the very end and hand polish these handlebars, uh, whatever, handles. And you're probably thinking that this looks like a painter's job. Uh, 
again, I tried to do it as fast as I could, so I, I did what I could without worrying about like cosmetics or how it looks. I just tried to tape it up as fast as I could. But this is the finished product. Um, just like the handle, there is some paint here that I'm gonna go ahead later on and, and uh, hand polish, but I, I just didn't wanna worry about it, so I just taped it up. So that's that. Oh, and the moonroof, if you guys are wondering about the moonroof, I didn't tape that up because it's not exactly working. Uh, this isn't my car, obviously, so I try to put it up. Normally I would put it up, tape around the front, and then put it back down and tape around the back, but because it's not working, I'm just gonna worry about it later. I just wanted to make this video as quickly as possible. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you on the next video. See ya. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please push that like button or even subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. If you really enjoyed it, hit that share button. It really helps my channel grow and I would definitely appreciate it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day. And in the meantime, let's dance.